Hey everyone, I'm David Walker. Those of you that don't know me, I'm a writer, <clears throat> mostly known for writing comic books. I've worked for Marvel, DC, Image. I'm the author of the graphic novel, The Life of Frederick Douglass. I am also an adjunct professor at Portland State University. I teach in the uh, comic studies program. I teach writing for comics. And like all of you, I am trapped at home in isolation mode cabin fever starting to set in. I am in freak out mode most of the time. I don't know what's happening and um, it's a little difficult. I was talking to a friend the other day and they are at home with their kids, also isolated, also freaking out, also trying to figure out what to do with all this time on their hands. And I had said, you know, hey, maybe you should make a comic with your kids. It's, uh, you know, it's a creative thing to do and creativity can be very therapeutic. And, um, and my friend said, you know, I don't know the first thing about making comics. I don't know how to draw. I don't know any of that stuff. And I said, well, you know, it's not as difficult as you might think it is. And that got me to thinking that maybe I should put together some sort of video tutorial based on some of the stuff that I, I teach my students at PSU. So that's what this is right here. This is the first of a series of short videos that is going to be um, how to make comics. So the first lesson that we are going to start off with on uh, in this video tutorial is uh, is about the visual component of comics. It's it's going to be a drawing lesson. Uh, I know a lot of you are thinking, I don't know how to draw. I can't draw. I mean, show of hands, I can't draw. The, but the truth is, you can draw. I can draw. We we all can draw. And so this uh, this first lesson is going to be about how to draw. This is based on a lesson that I do with my students at PSU. It's actually very effective. So um, what you're going to need in order to do this lesson is you're going to need uh, preferably something to draw with. I, I would prefer you don't use a tablet or, or um, you know, laptop, but just something as simple as a pen or a pencil and uh, a pad of paper. That's really all you need as we practice the art of drawing. So the first thing we're going to get into is that if you were to take any sort of drawing class, the first thing that they're going to teach you is that everything is made up of a series of shapes. Again, everything is a series of shapes. You have your square, which, of course, that's not the best square that you've ever seen, but it kind of gets the job done. Um, similar to a square is a rectangle. Uh, not quite the same, but uh, both have all have four sides. Rectangles a little bit different, but that's okay. Then you've got your round shape, your circle, or maybe your oval if you want to go there. But again, uh, that's another shape. And then you've got your triangle right here. Um, you can have one upside down. It's you know three sides, but that's it. Basically, everything that you are going to learn how to draw at any time is made up of some configurations of these shapes, uh, you know, combined in various different ways. But this is the first thing. So uh, you got your your pad of paper and your pen or your pencil, or maybe you're working on a tablet. But just start by drawing these shapes. They don't have to be particularly good. They could be as, as garbagey as, as the ones I've just drawn. It could be a triangle that looks kind of like that, but you know that it's a triangle, or it could be a square that looks kind of like that, which looks like a melting marshmallow. But as long as you begin to practice. So we've gone over the basic shapes, and the, I know there's a lot of you that are still thinking, I, I can't draw. I, I can't draw that square. Um, I can't draw that triangle, but trust me, you can. Um, do you know how to spell? If you know how to spell, if you know how to form letters, then you know how to draw. Because as you see here, I'm drawing these letters, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, all the way through X, Y, and Z. The alphabet, all the way through X, Y, and Z, all 26 letters of the alphabet are shapes. They are shapes that are variations of the shapes that I just showed you, or components of the shapes that I just showed you, the, the, the circle, the square, the triangle. If you look at the letter A, it's essentially a triangle. If you look at the C, it's essentially a circle. If you look at an E, it's essentially a square. These are the shapes. Now, if you know how to spell, if you know how to do the alphabet, then you know how to draw, because spelling and drawing are exactly the same thing. They are just creating shapes that have a predetermined definition, right, or, 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 or predetermined meaning. We know 
that A means A and C means C. So uh, I'll take it one step further. We do a C, which is a set, again, you know, a basic shape. And we have now an A, which is another basic shape, and then a T. Uh, we put these three things together, C, A, T, it spells the word cat. And um, we all know what a cat is, and we all know what the letter C is, and we all know what the A is, and we all know a T. But what I want you to think about is that I have now just drawn a version of a cat. What I've done is I've drawn three separate symbols that when you string them together, C-A-T, they spell a word cat, that we all understand what that means, right? So right there, if you can spell the word cat, if you can draw the symbols that equal the word cat, then you can draw a cat. And I'm about to show you how to do that in just a moment. Just doing a basic recap again, shapes, letters, they're all the same thing. Here we have C-A-T. It spells cat, right? We know that. Um, and again, this is essentially a drawing. Now, if you want something that looks a little bit more like a cat, not really like a cat, but you know what I mean, um, it's really this simple. So we're going to uh, use a number of shapes to create a cat. So let's see, here we go. Um, here is one shape right here. Here we have two. Here we have three. We're going to put in little like pupils. So that's four. There's five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here's shape number six. Here is shape number seven. Shape number eight. Give him some whiskers. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Give him some teeth. 13, 14, 15, 16. All of a sudden we have a cat. Not the best looking cat in the world, but you know that that is a cat, right? And if you want to draw the body of the cat, right? Say, so we do like this, we give him a little body right there. And then we do a tail and maybe the tail curls around. Um, and then we got to give our cat some legs. I know, not the best looking legs. Uh, some of you are laughing at this horrible drawing right here. We'll give him four legs right here. So there you go, there's the fourth. Um, not the best looking cat, I admit it, but this right here, this cat looks more like a cat than this cat. Now, if you can do this with, how many shapes did I just do? The head of the cat was, uh, I think, 16, and the body's 17, tail, 18, legs, 19, 20, 21, 22, about 22 shapes. Not the best, but it's a start. So I want you to take uh, your your pad of paper and your pen and your pencil or whatever you're doing and, and we're going to practice with the cat and we're going to move on to another lesson in just a moment. Okay, so we've gone over the fact that, uh, you know, letters are shapes and, and when you write, you're actually drawing. We've done our cat lesson. It um, We can apply the same principle to anything. Let's, let's, let's see how it works to draw an object. Carrying on with the same lesson that we just did, shapes, it's, it's really this simple. Um, say you want to draw an object, C-A-R, car. Seems like it's a little bit more complex than a cat, right? But not necessarily so, because again, it's just a series of shapes. So um, if we do this right here, here's sort of the, the body of the car, right? And again, this isn't great, but it's, uh, it's, it's sort of getting the job done. It's explaining it, right? There you go. There you go. And suddenly it looks almost like a car, but what do we need? Uh, I guess we need a door of some, some capacity. And then we probably need a driver. Um, doesn't have to be a particularly fancy person here. Now they're holding the steering wheel. Give him a little face. Um, and then maybe he's got, you know, a crying kid in the back seat. Uh, so there you go. You've got our car and the person driving it. And this is an absolutely terrible picture. I admit it. It doesn't have much in terms of artistic quality, but you're looking at it and you know what it is. And that's the most important part of comics is that, is that, um, that the visual representation tells the reader what it's supposed to be. It doesn't have to be good quality art necessarily, as long as it effectively communicates what you're trying to do. Okay, so you've uh, practiced a little bit, I hope. You made a couple cats, cars, maybe a dog, an elephant. I don't care. Um, now you are going to create your first character. That's right, you were going to create a character because that is what we need to do a comic. And um, 
the comic that you, or the character, I should say, that you're going to do is going to be you. You're going to do a character based on yourself. I'm going to do one on myself. And you're thinking, I don't know how to do this. I can't draw. I barely was able to draw the cat. The cat looked like a pile of garbage. It's fine. Um, you're going to draw a character based on yourself. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, now we're working on our main character of our webcomic, which is going to be essentially self-portrait. So we're going to start with the basic shape. Now, I, I don't know what any of you look like because I can't see you, so I'm going to draw myself. I've started with my head. You'll see along the bottom I've got this sort of wide, fat chin because, unfortunately, I have a wide, fat chin. Um, I'm working on it, going on a diet. Don't judge me, please. Um, and now we're going to move on to the eyes. So we are now up to three shapes that... Uh, that we have in this self-portrait. I'm going to give myself, um, you know, some, some eyelids and there's some pupils. Uh, that's, you know, another few basic shapes. Now we'll, we'll go on to the nose. Very basic. If this was a letter, this is essentially a U. And here's another U right here, or part of a C, whatever you want to say it. Um, now that sucks. That's not a very good nose. Let me go back and I, I know I can do a better nose than that. Something that looks more like my nose, anyway. So, there we go. I think that looks more like my nose. I don't know. Um, and now we're going to do the mouth, the upper lip, which is another shape, which is essentially just uh, almost an M right there for the upper lip. Now, the, the lower lip will be essentially an uh, elongated U, I guess. Uh, we're going to throw some ears on here. And, oh, you know what I've forgotten? I have forgotten eyebrows. I, I love my eyebrows, even though they're bushy right now. Speaking of bushy, I haven't shaved in a while, not because of a quarantine thing or anything, but because I'm lazy, so we need to give me a beard in some capacity. And again, even though this is, uh, I'm just scribbling here, this is a shape. It's a bunch of scribbly lines, which constitute a shape. Um, and again, not the greatest, but there you go. We'll even go up a little further, get a little bit more going. Okay, yeah, there we go. Creeping up the side of the um, head there. And because I haven't shaved my head in a few days, I can give myself a few random hairs up top just for character. Um, put some shoulders on there. A little collar around there. And, uh, oh, let's give the ears a little more character. Not the greatest. I actually think this actually looks better than I look in real life. But I have just created a self-portrait, a character, and I want you to try doing the same. So get out your pad and paper, get out your pen, pencil, your tablet, whatever you're using, and start practicing drawing yourself. Okay, so we've done uh, pretty much our first lesson. We've, I've, I've taught you taught you everything I know, kids. Um, I've taught you how to draw the most basics. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to practice a little bit, practice um, drawing different characters, different things, different objects, different animals. And uh, the next lesson is going to be on how to actually create the comics. But um, practice drawing yourself. So I want to thank you for your time. I'm hoping that it wasn't too uh, boring or stupid, that maybe you got something interesting out of it. Uh, I'm hoping that kids have learned something. I'm hoping adults have learned something. I'm hoping that families are... Um, able to do something creative together. And if you didn't absolutely hate this video, I will be posting more of them. Please feel free to share this if you think you know somebody who might enjoy what I've done. And until then, please be safe, be healthy, and um, just remember that we will get through this. Okay, bye.